Uh, drum roll, please. Hi, welcome to Maggie's show. This is the voice behind Maggie. Her name is Billy Keel. She'd like you to come see the show and enjoy it. And it's full of humor. And of course, me. I'm Maggie. And I'm very unique. And you're gonna hear some really funny things. So, please make sure you get to the show. And thanks. And toodaloo. I'm Maggie. I'm Maggie. I'm Maggie. This is the Maggie show. Ooh, that was rude. It's a work day! Yay! It's my bye day. So let's film the show and hi to all you folks out there. <clears throat> we missed you this week. We did a lot of things. Today we're just going to go walking on the sidewalk and see if we can find something to film. Hmm, should be interesting. So come join us. Hey Billy, how you doing? I'm doing fine, Maggie. I'm doing really, really good. I think I got myself a new job, but we will see. Well, what kind of job is it? We will see. It's a surprise. Okay, you got me curious, so what is it going to do? I won't tell anybody, I promise. Well, okay, Maggie. This is what I'm going to do. I got a job in a store as a live mannequin. I just stand there and I don't move. <laughs> You're kidding me. You mean you're just going to stand there? What if somebody starts to tickle you or cracks a joke or something? You're not going to move at all? I'll get it. Okay. I got it. Hello? What are you talking? No, I did not. I swear I was not with that other man. I swear. I was home with the kids. Yes, I mean it. So, well, if you want your supper, you're going to have to come home. No! I swear. He's nothing to me. He's just a friend. Well, don't get mad. Oh, you're going to file for divorce? Oh, okay. See if I care. What about you? You were cheating on me. Hello? Oh, he hung up. What the heck was that, Maggie? You're not married and you don't have no kids. I know, Billy. It was a wrong number. I just thought I'd play along with it. I hope she gets away from him. He sound like he was kind of angry. Anyhow, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, wait. We have to go to a weather break. Thank you, Maggie. And for the weather today, it's going to be really, really, really hot. So if you think about going to the beach, make sure you wear some flip-flops because that sand is going to burn your feet. It should be about 120 degrees out there, and the humidity is going to be really thick. So, And I don't want to see you guys out on the sidewalk with your eggs trying to find them. Last year when we had heat like that, everybody in the city was trying to find eggs on the sidewalks. And the dogs were like walking around eating them all up. Then we had a bad case of dogs being sick all over the city. So, no more egg flying on the sidewalk. Again, it is going to be a scorcher, so if I were you, I would stay inside and not go outside to a nightclub or anything. Well, thanks for that weather update. Now I know what to wear outside when we go looking for something to do and film. Nothing. It's going to be that hot. Talking about wearing nothing, what do they mean by skinny dipping? I mean, I can see the dipping part if you're going into the water, but skinny? What is that supposed to mean? Isn't it should be naked dipping or... And another thing, besides skinny dipping, why do they say when somebody's naked that they're flashing you? What does flashing mean? Like, makes me think there's a big flashing light on your body part with arrows pointing to the area? What does that mean? Oh, Maggie, I can't believe you said that on the air. That's too funny. Body part. <laughs> I can't believe that. Well, I was just wondering. Okay, let's go. Let's go walking and see what we can find that's interesting. Hey look, Billy. It's a nightclub. You want to go in? Sure, why not? But first, we have to go to this news break. Police were called to a grocery store in the city where a woman had been attacked outside in the parking lot by a man who apparently helped her inside the store. What happened was she had groceries she had to pay for and she didn't have enough money. All the other customers in the store and in line were yelling, Hurry up, lady! There's other people waiting! One man was throwing marshmallows at her. Another person's child kept tugging on her clothes. Well, they wouldn't take a credit card in the line she was at. She was waving her credit card at him, but they wouldn't take And then it happened. The sweet man came over, and he said, I will pay for your groceries in exchange for your card. So she said, that would be nice. So, helped and paid for her groceries. And she thanked him, and on her way outside the door, he grabbed her credit card and took off running. So, police have got him in custody. The thief, as he sat in the back of the police car in handcuffs, says, Geez, you think you do a good deed to help somebody out, and this is how you get repaid. And I did say I will pay for your groceries in exchange for your credit card. I was just getting the credit card. 
And then the police said, oh, that's right. He did say that in the store, didn't he? Well, we can't keep him. We can't hold him. That's what he said. And she said, okay. So the police had let him go with the lady's credit card. Police have left this message that they said, don't count your credit cards before you cash. Thanks for that news bulletin. Now let's go into the nightclub. It might be kind of fun. Hi, ladies. Have a good time. Thank you, Dylan Man. Oh, shh. Ah, that's loud. What? I can't hear you. I can't hear you, Billy. What'd you say? I said that's loud. Oh, you're right. There it is. Okay, let's go back outside for a minute. Maybe we can adjust our ears to it before we come back. Okay, that was a bit loud in there. Mm -hmm. Back outside again. Now we're gonna go back in. See how nice and quiet it is out here? Let's go back in and try this again. Hi ladies, have a good time. Thank you, Dora Man. What is going on? That music is so loud! Yeah, I think it's funny. This, oh, look at that cute guy over there. I want to meet him. I get it, Tony. He's cuter than you are. Hey, babe. Do you want me to buy you a drink or maybe dance or something? And then later on, maybe we can go up to my car? But which one is it that you want me to do? You want to dance? I'll dance. How about all three? So we'll start with the dancing. <laughs> oh, Maggie, you mean you're gonna leave me standing here all alone? Oh, Billy, we're gonna have some fun. Maybe you can find somebody to dance with, too. Yes! Yeah. Alright! Let's get down, get down, get down, yay! Alright! Get down. Boogie, 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 boogie. Oh, man, this is so much fun! Get down, get down! Oh, uh, don't mind me. I'll just sit over here at this table waiting for you to get done having some fun. Like you said, get in, get in, get in. Hey, woman, you dance great. Thanks. I dance with my boyfriend, Tony. Oops. Changing subject. Hey, do you know how to do this move? It's when you put, just put your arm in the air, kind of like in that one movie. Get down, get down. Oh man, this is so cool. I'm having so much fun. Yeah. Well, I think I have to go join my friend. She's sitting at the table all alone. Nobody will answer good to dance. Hey Billy, you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, Maggie. Is it time to go yet? Well, I, don't, I was going to order a drink. You want a drink? No, I just want some sort of soft drink. Well, okay. I think I'll have soft drink too then. Thanks, mister, for dancing with me. What does this mean? We're going to go out to the car? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe you can go out to the car alone. Boy, what a jerk. Hey, is this a pickup bar or what? Isn't that we're all here for to pick up each other? Get away from me, you jerk. Somebody help me. This guy's really getting on my nerves. But first, before somebody helps me, we need to go to this commercial. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Are you feeling old? Do you feel like you don't look young anymore and you just, when you go to buy some liquor or cigarettes or something, do you want to be carded just like you used to be? Do you miss that? Well, there's a new lotion out. It's called Pimple Me Lotion. Just put the lotion on your face and it'll make you get pimples. And your face will break out and you will look like a young teenager again. And then, when next time you go to buy some liquor or some adult stuff, they'll card you. And they'll say, wow, you look so young. They will give you back that feeling of being youthful. So, try this Pimple Me Lotion. Guaranteed to get you carded wherever you go. Now back to getting help. Uh, I can help you, ma'am. Is this guy bothering you? Yes, he is. He won't leave me alone. He keeps trying to get me out in his car. Okay. I'll help you. 
I will take care of this man right now. You think you're gonna fight me? Yes, I will, and I'll beat you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So? So what? What? So? Do you want to fight or not? Hey man, no, I don't want to fight. Want to play pool instead? Sure, why not? Bye, ladies. What the heck was that? Huh? Did they just say they're gonna go play pool together? It certainly looks like it. Boy, some hero. He came to save the day, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new comedy show. Yeah, some people out in the audience do a comedy bit. If you know of anything that's funny or anything, just come on up and do your bit. And let's see if you can make us laugh. To come up, first person to come up here and make us laugh the most, we get $100. So, if you want to come up, come on up and do your best at comedy show. Oh, I want to do, do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. Are you going to go up there, Maggie? Yeah, sure. I like doing comedy. This is cool. Not only that, I want to try to win the $100. Okay, everybody. I'm coming up! Hey! Woohoo! Oh boy, girl! Hey! Good oh boy! Hey! Yay! Hi, y'all! My name's Maggie. I'm kind of new at this, but I can see by looking at your faces, like, look at that guy over there, he has a monkey face. <laughs> That's the way he looks. So stern. Monkey face, monkey face. And that woman, her hair, her hair is like out like a. Oh, she kind of looks like she has a. Uh, I like a bird's nest up in her head or something. <gasps> well, I never. I don't know. And this smells. It smells like you're like a dirty foot locker. You ever go into a cab? It's got leather seats, an old cab. It's got that smell like dirty socks or something. That's what it smells like in here. You guys need to get some cleaning stuff. That's not funny. And the guy that owns the bar here. I don't know where he is. Where is he? I hear tell that he waters down his drinks. He puts more salt in the pretzels, so people will buy more booze. What? I am the owner, and you're saying that I? Let you know, you guys, that the bars uh, water down their liquor, and they also put extra salt in their pretzels so that you'll buy more booze. And that your uh, veggie burger is actually made out of real meat. Yep, that's what I said, Mr. Owner Man. <laughs> ah, he's always laughing and smiling and happy, but you wonder what he's happy about. Can't be. He's got a, a, a building full of people who have monkey faces and birds nests in their hair. I mean, honestly, that's nothing to to be happy about. Boo! Sorry, Maggie. I couldn't help it. But seriously, men always try to look so tough. Look at you guys out there. You all look so tough. Like you really got your act together, and, and you went out and you bought these big trucks. And we all know what I mean by big trucks, or so we've heard. I don't know if it's true or not, but... Hey, lady, I'm a big man, and I got a big truck. There's no doubt about that. Oops, sorry, sir. I'm not saying. So you guys got these big trucks and these motorcycles, and you boom your engines, and you blast your radios. And all you can think of is, wow, I'm really going to impress that woman that's walking down the street. Looking at me, she's quite a dish. And then all of a sudden, she's thinking, God, what a jerk. As you're driving by. Don't you guys realize that women don't have nothing to do with guys that are jerks? I'm just saying. Ooh, he's... Okay, you got a boyfriend. And he likes to send you a gift. He's like, oh, with another state. And he's coming out to be with you. But every birthday and every Christmas and every holiday, he sends you a box of candy. A nice chocolate candy. And you don't want to say anything to him, but by the time the candy gets to you in the 120 degree weather outside, if you live in, in very hot areas, the candy's all melted. It's like melted and sticky and you end up having to throw it away. And he's really like, did you get the candy? Was it good? Spent a lot of money on it. And you're like, oh, yeah, it was yummy. It was really nice and 
jacuzzi and chocolatey. It was very good. Thank you very much. But really, in your heart, you want to say, look, jerk, don't send me any more candy. You're just wasting your freaking money, and it's like too hot out there. If you had any sense at all, you'd realize it's just going to melt in the mailbox. Not to mention, the truck that delivers it is really hot. It could be in that truck for hours. So don't send me any more. But you don't say nothing. You just let them keep sending you candy. Every year you throw it out. Ah, you really need to think about that. Wow, you inconsiderate B.I. See, I thought I would buy you candy. What did the guy say to the little chicken that was on the bridge? Ready to jump off. Maybe he was going to bungee jump. I don't know, bungee cord jump or something. You know, this guy saw this chicken on the bridge ready to jump off. And he says, what are you, chicken? I made that joke up. I thought it was funny. Seriously. Women. You know, women, you, you so funny. You put all this makeup on and you get really beautiful and everything. And then you go off these guys that got beer guts on them. And, I mean, what's up with that? Why do women get all beautiful for these loser men? Sorry, there are some good looking men out there. Seriously, I can see a few of them. Like maybe one or two. Okay, there's three. Three good looking men in the crowd. Ah, oh, shoot. You're all good looking. I'm just kidding. So, and I don't see no monkey face or a bird's nest. But seriously. It's too late for apologies, lady. We like to cut people down and make them laugh. And that's what happens. It's, it's the way it is. So, if you ever notice how you go to work and you try your darnest to do a really good job, you want to impress your boss. You want to impress your boss and make him think, wow, he's a good worker. I'm glad I hired him. And then you see some young college dude that just was hired. It just sits around, does nothing, doesn't do his, his share of work. And your boss, like, is totally, totally thinks he's the greatest worker he ever had. And he, like, makes him, like, assistant director or assistant manager or something, or supervisor. And here you are working your butt off and you're like, what the heck? So you just give up. You just give up and you stop doing extra stuff and you just lay around and do nothing. And that teenage boss comes in there and says, why are you not doing anything? You're just doing nothing. And you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta quit this job. I gotta quit this job really fast. <laughs> oh man, some man is crying. Anyhow, sorry. But you don't. You don't. You stay with it. And you put up a tad of years for years to come. And you'll see a lot more young people come in. And you know what? They replace that one college guy because he's starting to get old. He's starting to get old and they don't want him anymore either. They want the ones that will say and do anything they ask them to do. Not the ones that know what they're doing. <laughs> and ain't that the truth. Danny, I thought I would just come up here and say a few words about how life is. And, you know, I was once going to offer a job flipping burgers. At a fast food restaurant, and I didn't quite know what flipping burgers meant. I thought you had to go in there and flip burgers up in the air and and let them fall down and flip them up in the air. And so I, when I got the job, I went in there and I set out the buns. When there was an order, I set out the buns for the hamburgers, for the, and I flipped the burgers up in the air. And I tell you, it was harder than heck to get those burgers to fall right on that bun. And I must have lost about 20 different hamburgers on the floor. And... My boss came in and said, what are you doing? And I says, well, I'm flipping burgers, but I can't seem to get them on the bun. They keep missing the bun going on the floor. He says, you're not supposed to flip them in the air. And I said, oh, oh, okay. So I just put them on the hamburger bun then. And he said, yeah. So, and then I says, well, thank you. And then I was thinking after he left, well, what does flipping burgers mean, said? So I started flipping the burger and throwing it across the room at people that came in the door. I thought maybe that's what it meant or flipping at my boss, which was stuck on the back of his head, and then I was flipping it at the cashier person, and stuck on top of his head, and one person got it in the face that was taking an order. They had, oh, well, this is kind of fun, flipping burgers at everybody. Well, needless to say, I didn't last very long at that job. I got fired really fast. It's a good thing they didn't say anything about squirting mustard. Ha uh ha, -huh. you finally got a laugh for being an idiot. Hey, thanks, mister. It's like you, your kids in school. You got your kids in school. And according to the parents, their kids are the best. They're the best singers, the best on stage, the best in their class. They're the prettiest and the funniest. And, the, and then you get a little note from the teacher saying, your child has been misbehaving in this class. And you're like, oh, no, not my child, not my child. My child is perfect. I'm going to go over there and talk to the teacher. And then you get over to the school and they sit you on one of those little desk well, one of those seats in the classroom, you know, the ones that the kids sit on. You mean you managed to get your fat 
Un amour dans cette suite. <laughs> Excuse me, mister, but I'm a teeny tiny woman with a little b. Now back to the joke. So anyhow, they and say, look at this, and you see a picture, your kid drew a picture of a devil, but he was supposed to draw a picture of something that inspired him. And <laughs> that's when you decide, okay, maybe my kid's not perfect after all, maybe the teacher's right. Why a devil? Why not some mommy or daddy or somebody important? And this person inspires them? Oh, we gotta watch out for that. Anyhow. It's good to be a parent, though. I mean, it's really rewarding. You have your kids clean the rooms up. You say, if you clean your room, you can get a special treat after supper. And um, so they, they act like they're cleaning the room up. And you go in there, and everything is, like, hidden under the bed or hidden under the blankets. And the blankets on the bed are bumpy. And you know darn well that that's where that peanut butter sandwich is that you gave them a few days ago. And you're sure there's going to be jelly in the laundry next week. But you don't want to discourage them, so you still give them that treat after supper. Oh, well. And these kids, they just go, go on and act like they're helping you out when they're not. So everything is hidden under everything. Even when they sweep, they sweep everything under the rug. Bless their little hearts. I still see a monkey face out in the audience. Oh, well, I gotta go. This place is scaring the crap out of me. So have a good evening, folks. Okay. Oh, and another thing. I didn't particularly like that heckler out there that kept tooting his horn. Okay, thank you. You can get off the stage now. And now, Mrs. Brown. Go ahead, Mrs. Brown. Thank you. I am doing my rendition of a chicken and a cat. Well, I guess we know who our winner is. We got the most laughs. Here's your hundred dollars, Mrs. Brown. Thank you, handsome. Well, I guess I have nothing more to say except for I have to go to a commercial right now. Thank you, Maggie. This cookie that just came out. It's chocolate chip cookie with the people that like coffee with the cookies. You can now get a chocolate chip cookie that has coffee beans right in it. It's so good. They're nice and crunchy. The coffee beans are. I mean, they just came out in local stores everywhere. So, if you want to get a good cookie, it's called Chocolate Coffee Crunchy Cookie Yummies. And you can find it in your local grocery stores. Mm, uh, just make sure you have good teeth. No dentures, so I'm just kidding. So, back to Maggie. Oh, my mouth hurts. Oh shoot, we're still filming? And I said that? Thanks for that great commercial. I'll have to buy some in the store. And don't worry, we do editing here, remember? Hey Billy, I kind of want to leave this bar. I've had enough fun for one night. Maggie, you seem like you're in a bad mood or something. You seem like you don't like men tonight or something. Every joke you made was about a man. Oh, you're right, Billy. I'm mad at Tony tonight. Hey, okay, now tomorrow I'll just love him all again. But let's just get out of here. Let's go home. Okay, but we're still filming, you know. We still got some minutes left. But I will think of something to do. Hi, ladies. Have a good time. Would, Would you, you just, just shut, shut up? up? <laughs> Did you see his face, Billy? 
I sure did. That was the funniest thing I ever saw. Did you see his mouth drop open? <laughs> like, oh, nobody's ever seen anything like that before. Oh, no, that heckler follows outside with your toy. Get away from us. <laughs> Can you imagine having a job like that? Just standing there saying, have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Billy. It's one of those street people. The ones that sing for money. I think they need a little help with their singing. But I'm going to give them money. Because I figured they got guts enough to come out here and sing like that. They must really need it. Agreed, Maggie. Don't money, Mommy. Please help us out. Here you go. Here you go. Hey, Billy, do you have a cup? Oh, never mind. Wait, I see a can on the ground. Yeah, it's kind of clean. Just wipe out this Kleenex. Now it's clean. I'm going to try that. I'm going to sit on the side of the sidewalk and I'm going to sing a song and put the cup in front and see if anybody tosses money in there. That's the silliest thing I ever heard of. But if you're going to give it to the needy, then I think go for it. Sounds like a good idea. If they do, I will, I will give it to the needy. Me. And my shadow... Strolling down the avenue, just me and my shadow, not a soul to tell my troubles to. And when it's eight o'clock, we climb the stairs, we never knock, cause nobody's there, just me. And my shadow Strolling down the avenue Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! All money would be donated to children in seats. Wow, Maggie, look at all the dollars people threw in there. Not to mention all the change. This is going to be great as a donation. Well, that's all for our show today. We really enjoyed having you. Yes, please come back. We'd like to do a few shout-outs. Mr. Tears would like to tell Stuart he loves him. Hmm, interesting. John loves Lacey. Thank you. Come back next week.